Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another S Tuner video. Today we are building an S13 coupe, and the main reason for this is because I haven't built one in a very long time. It's been it's been um I don't know. I normally just build S13 hatches on my spare time, so I don't really dabble in the whole coupe thing. Um and it's not too often that I'll Well, I just said what I would do. Anyway, um, we're uh we're doing we're doing a coupe today. I'm gonna probably do like a very low sort of street style drift build with it. I'm not really sure where exactly I'm gonna go uh at the moment, but we will figure it out. I might actually leave that on there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna leave that on there for now. I might change it up. I might uh might go to a different sort of um hood there, but I'm not really a hundred percent sure right now. I don't know what sort of front bumper. Definitely not that. I'm probably going to just end up choosing like the BN Sports kit or a Vertex kit or something. We'll just scroll through these quickly and uh, and see what's going on. We got the OT3, Odyssey. Um, yeah, I don't really know. It's probably going to be between the Vertex and the and the BN Sports. Let's just go ahead and uh, and see the difference here. We got Vertex and we got BN Sports. I feel like BN Sports fits the car better. I don't know, just me. It's probably up to, um, well, it's definitely up to everyone else's opinion and stuff, but I don't really know. I haven't done a coupe in a long ass time. Anyway, um, we can throw these taillights on, headlights. We're going to put the bricks in here, S13 coupe brick. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up was, um, I do want to get more videos out to you guys. So if you have any sort of game that you want to see me play, be sure to leave that in the comments and I will go ahead and, uh, and check those out. Um, it's just S tuner is something I normally do, at least in, the, in, in like the current state anyway. Um, it's something I, I normally do, um, on my spare time. And like I just go in and do uh, probably like 30 to 40 minute build when I'm bored um, so it's not really something that I uh, I do too often in a video anymore and it's kind of like the whole video thing is kind of boring to me um, just because I've done so many episodes of them I will occasionally do a few like like this one for example um, and the the previous ones but I, I do want to see if you guys want to see me play any type of other game um, or things like that I will be continuing with my real life 240 stuff whenever I get around to doing more of those things once it's not winter it'll be it'll be a lot more frequently uploaded um, in terms of like what I'm doing to it and stuff like that and hopefully I will be taking it to a few drift events this year once I get a, uh, a welded diff in there. Um, and that should be quite fun in terms of content. Um, I do have a package coming for, uh, for something. One of the parts should come today, so I will be doing an unboxing video on that. And then once my other parts come, I will install that and do a video on that as well. Um, but at the moment, we're just going to wait it out. I'm going to put a singular exhaust on here. Single exit exhaust anyway. Um, spoiler, I want to do the DMX spoiler because that looks amazing on these cars. We'll go ahead and uh, switch over to throwing an intercooler in there. And then mirror zero 03 is my favorite. I'm going to hopefully pick up a set of these mirrors for my actual 240 in real life. Um, if I can find any I have found a few on like some websites but the prices are all in US dollars and uh, with the conversion rate to Canadian dollars at the moment I'm not really down to go ahead and pick those up but I should at one point have some new mirrors on my 240 whether they're Ganadors or um, these ones I forget what the actual name of these are at the moment anyway but uh, I definitely would prefer these over Ganadors if I'm saying that name correctly I'm probably mispronouncing it but you know it's okay. I'll uh, I'll possibly get some of those at one point. 
Um, anyway, we're going to throw some arrow on here. Um, just to make the car look a little bit more aggressive. Go ahead and move that to there. Uh, and uh, scale the length down. Also, I want to apologize if the commentary is like not as interesting as they used to be. Like, I haven't done commentaries in such a long time that it's kind of a... Uh, what do you want to call it? It's kind of not really in my skill set anymore in terms of being able to talk for a very long period of time without any sort of like slowdowns or interruptions. It's it's much different than it used to be. Um, but like I said with the whole I want to get more videos out to you guys, um, hopefully it will increase that I guess if that's the proper proper term for that I'm not really sure um yeah just be sure to let me know if you want to see me play any sort of games on steam or whatever um and I should hopefully get around to it at some point we'll see what happens with that this might look weird on this rear bumper I might not have a diffuser on this rear bumper just because of how the size looks pretty weird in my opinion Go ahead and scale that up to there. Drop this down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really feel that, to be honest. We'll uh, we'll 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 change it up a little bit more and see if I have any sort of interest in it. Then move it back. Oops, that's forward. I'll move it back to there. Um. No, I'm just going to remove it. We'll have the front two on there and then nothing on the rear. That looks fine. Um, still looks pretty good. And uh, I think that's it in terms of body parts. We can go ahead and um, select our wheels here. Okay, we're going to throw some 03s on it. Or 03s because they're my favorite wheel of all time. Favorite three-piece wheel of all time, I should say. I hope to one day own a set of these wheels. That would be, that would just be amazing. Um, go back into suspension, brake type 2, complex those tires. Um, drop that down to 30. These guards on the Cooper are huge. If this was the, uh, the 180SX, like, you'd have to drop this down to like 17s. But it's like the radius or radius, I don't, I don't even know. I think it's pronounced radius. I think that's how it's spelled, but I don't really know. Um... Yeah, these look massive, which is weird. Can't really go much lower than that, though. I mean, it's right on the ground. <laughs> okay, so... Maybe we can fit 19s on here. I've never put 19s on a car, but since the the guards are just so big, I might as well do it here. Just have something different. Um, let's go ahead and adjust this. There we go. And the rears, bump that up to 19. Give it a little bit of camber. Now in the rear, it's a little bit of a tuck, which is cool. That looks fine in my opinion. We'll give this four, four levels of dish or four ticks of dish or whatever you want to call it. Front will drop the dish down to negative one. I think that looks good. I think that looks very nice. All right. I actually do like that hood. I was going to change it up, but uh, after looking at it this time, or like when the whole car is done, I should say, I actually really like the way that hood looks. So let's move on to car colors. I kind of want to do black, um, just because I feel like that'll suit the car very well. We'll change the environment to studio, even though it'll clip through the ground a little bit, but that's all right. That is all right. Toggle those floor reflections. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the car black. It uh, it looks very nice. And then I think I will do... Aw, oh, it does little lines around the car purple as well. Damn it. All right. We'll have to paint these individually. I might just leave it black, honestly, just because it'll look weird if you see it clipping through the floor. Um, yeah, I think I'll just leave it black, to be honest. Go ahead and paint our exhaust, make that white, 
and then bump it up there. Our intercooler now. Make that black. I like doing black intercoolers ever since I, I did it once on like, I think it was my S15 build I did a while ago. I didn't make a video on it, but um, ever since then I've been doing black intercoolers. I feel like it looks much better on the car than the silver one. Um, which is a little bit weird, but oh well. Um, our face will be chrome and our outer will be not as chrome. There we go. And then our lug nuts can be pink. And our calipers can also be pink. So we'll do FB149C. Give it a little bit of a reflection on there. Go ahead and do that for this side as well. And uh, now we need to paint the mirrors. I always forget to paint the mirrors. That's one thing that I always screw up on. It's 060606. All right, that works. I don't really have to mess around with the bar too much. Same thing on this side. And uh, now we can go ahead and do the lights and stuff. The most tedious and boring part of the build, in my opinion. But it has to be done. It has to be done for the car to look good. Oh, this gave me a good idea. Hold on. This gave me a very good idea. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I want to edit the glass, please. After I paint this black. That's a good color. The glass now will be this color here. Get a little bit of a reflection going on here. Um, and then drop that down to around there. And then we'll paint this <laughs> Just completely screwed up my speech. We'll paint that the exact same thing. Go ahead and drop that down. Drop this down. And then drop this down. I like that. That actually looks pretty good. We got ourselves some, uh, some clear taillights. Fits the style of the car very well, I would say. Um, and now for the front, we're just going to do the typical. Move that up, chrome that out. Go ahead and drop this down a little bit. Make it a little bit see-through. And then... This part can be like that. Drop all this down and we have ourselves some finished headlights. All right, one last thing we have to do, which is these lights, the turn signals. And uh, I'm basically gonna keep them the same. And by that I mean the, uh, by being silver or chrome or clear or whatever you wanna call it. Um, that actually looks sick from the back. I'm quite a big fan of that. I might actually do a render based on this car now that I've got uh, got everything all finished. We're just going to go ahead and quickly paint the windows because I'm lazy and I don't do interiors as you all know. Drop that down to be black and there is our finished. <coughs> Ow, sorry. <coughs> all right, we're back. That is that is our finished S13 coupe um, street build sort of thing. It's all blacked out. Looks really awesome and rad. I'm a big fan of that, actually. I'm quite happy with this build. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a suggestion down below for which game you want to see me play and uh, what car you would like to see me build. And uh, I will be sure to get around to it eventually. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you all later.